made a painting drip before. <laughs> Hello. Something has happened in the last like three days and I have had an explosion of creativity, inspiration, blasting off everywhere. My space is a wreck. I've got sketchbooks over there. I've got three unopened canvases over there that I have plans for. I've got my intuitive painting over here, chilling out on another easel that I had to bring up from downstairs just so I had some place to put it while it dries. And today I'm painting Crocoduck. For those of you who have been watching my videos, my subscribers, awesome people, you will have seen in my sketchbook, I randomly came up with a creature guy and I called him Crocoduck because he looks like a crocodile and a duck had a baby. Here he is, Crocoduck. And I explain how he kind of came to be in another one of my videos. I will link that video because that video didn't do so hot. Uh, it didn't get a lot of love. And I'm not really sure why. Algorithms and, and craziness. But either way, um, if you're interested, go back and watch that one. And make sure you leave a like. Uh, anyways, I'm super excited, uh, if you can't tell. I actually moved my chair out of this area because this area is literally, like, it's, it's literally this big. Like, just big enough to do that. You know what I mean? And so is my chair. You know, it's, it's just big enough to do that. So basically I took the chair and I threw it over there and it's out of my way now, which is good for me because I have too much energy today to be sat in a chair with uh, little to no elbow room. And I need to move, I need to move around today. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna start painting Crocoduck. I'm gonna use my palette knives. Yeah. What else? Is there anything else I need to mention? I hope you enjoy. If you enjoy, like button, subscribe, watch till the end, leave a comment. All these things help a girl out, help a channel out. We recently hit 500 subscribers. Thank you to all my subscribers. Let's just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay. I need to just stop and just do it. I got my colors. I'm going to spray this canvas so that the paint will spread around a lot easier. All right, I'm definitely gonna need a lot more paint than that. Never made a painting drip before. <laughs> okay, disclaimer, uh, you will not be seeing Crocoduck being painted this video because of what happens right here in a second once this dries. You will, however, see a few paintings being started and one at the end that actually gets finished. So stick around. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Uh, now I'm going to paint the edges and wait for it to dry. It's the only downside to slow dry acrylic. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. I mean, you'll see me immediately, but I'll see you in a bit. Okay, you'll have to excuse the laundry going in the background, but I was about to start on this painting again because it's nice and dry. And I'm having a hard time because I see like a face in here, right here, eyeball, nose, mouth, chin, kind of ear and some kind of weird like blamey something going on and it's all like like lit around the background it looks so cool does anyone else see the eyeball almost like a skeletor not really something going on i love it and i don't <laughs> i don't want to paint on top of it because i gotta i gotta paint crocoduck uh on top of here and it just looks so cool. Another something right here. I need to just let the paint talk to me. I have like ideas ahead of time. And then this happens. What, what should I do? Should I paint the face out? I need to think about it for a minute. All right, well, I thought about it. I gotta redo it. Uh, I'll keep this how it is. I will work on top of it and bring out what I see and we'll replace it with a brand new canvas.
All right, now pay no attention to Sauron over here because I'm not painting it again. So yet again, I had to wait for that one to dry. And while I was waiting on it, I decided to work on these 10 by 10 square canvases. I've been doing a lot of sketching in my sketchbook and doing a lot with flowers. So I thought that these three canvases would make a really good set of flower paintings. And I wanted to do them all really kind of squiggly flowers, kind of like tying them all together even though they're all three really different. And this is just the beginning of these flower paintings. They are definitely not finished, <laughs> but I thought I would throw them in there so you could kind of see what was happening because, you know, I went from having one that I, one painting that I started to now I've got five paintings that I've started. And all of this happens within two days, which is crazy for me because usually I start a painting and I'll work on it for a while and then I might start another one before I finish that one. But usually I don't do more than like maybe two at a time. I certainly don't start multiple paintings and have several in their beginning stages like this. And then the next day I decided to start another landscape painting on a bigger canvas because I hadn't really done a landscape in a while. And because I was all inspired and just kind of in go mode, I just kind of went for it. Now this is the last painting that I started within this two day period. And this one literally blew my mind because I finished this painting in an hour and a half like finished. I didn't have to wait on it to dry. I didn't have to come back the next day. It was ridiculous. And I even thought about it for a couple of days afterwards, like looking at it being like, am I sure it's done? Because that had literally never happened to me like ever. But it was done because I liked every part of it. And it also has that look that I'm actually kind of going for, that I'm trying to achieve. When I talk about being more painterly, I feel like this is very close to what I'm trying to achieve. And I think what helped the most with me being able to achieve this look was the fact that I had started all those paintings before this one. It's like the repetition of starting a painting and knowing that it's not going to be finished because I'm gonna have to paint over whatever I just painted. It allowed me to be very loose and just paint effortlessly because I definitely didn't think I was gonna be able to finish it in one sitting. So I think I was able to just really let go and just kind of loosely let the paint do what it needs to do and not worry about going back and trying to blend everything perfectly and trying so hard to get it right the first time. It felt more like I was just kind of playing around and having fun with my painting. So I didn't care if it was perfect. And I think the not caring is what allowed me to actually achieve what I have been trying to figure out for a while now. <laughs> and honestly, it was really something special. When I finally put my brush down and sat back and kind of looked at it, it was such a good feeling. And it's like I was really proud of what I had accomplished. And I mean, the sky alone is perfect. Some of you might not agree, and that is perfectly fine. But honestly, I could stare at just the sky in this painting for forever. I love the marks. I love the movement. And most of all, I love that effortless feeling that I got painting it. And I know that it's not going to come that easy every time. And I'm certainly not going to be this inspired to do this many paintings all the time. But I'm so glad that I was able to recognize my flood of creativity and inspiration and start all these paintings. Because I could have easily just done one and waited until that one was done. And by the time I was halfway through it, I could have lost all that inspiration that I had because you never know how long that inspiration is going to last. Luckily for me, mine lasted for two days where I had a strong need to just create and create and create. And even though that supercharged feeling went away, I had developed a kind of rhythm and I was able to continue painting, stay inspired, for a while after. And I'm sure at some point I'll hit a wall and I'll feel like 
I can't paint today. I'm just not in it to win it. And that's okay. That happens. But when inspiration strikes, you gotta just grab it with both hands and make the most of it while it lasts. And I'm definitely learning that it's all about repetition and momentum. I think that's why so many people have all these 30-day challenges like Inktober or trying to use their sketchbook every single day because just building that momentum really does help. I think the problem though that a lot of people have with some of these challenges is they put too much pressure on themselves for the results of their work to be good. And I'm guilty of this too, because that's an issue I had doing my Himi gouache challenge, which I'm still doing, by the way. I'm not sure when the next video will be out. It'll probably be out next month, but keep your eyes out for that one, because it's still ongoing. I guess all I'm trying to say is, don't be too hard on yourself. And if you get that feeling of creativity, go get started. Now, some of you who have been watching the entire video are probably wondering, hang on, uh, I only saw seven paintings. I thought there was supposed to be eight paintings. And you are correct. There is supposed to be eight paintings. This is the eighth painting that I started. It is on a canvas board and yes, it's a mess and it's supposed to be a mess <laughs> because what I'm doing is I'm taking all of my leftover paint from my palette. So whenever I finish using paint and it kind of dries up and I have to peel it off with my scraper. I'll scrape all this up and it usually makes it a little more wet and sometimes it's not all the way dry and so I've been putting it on this canvas board and I'm really interested in building up all the colors and the textures and everything and see what happens with this. So it may not look like anything in the end, but I think it's going to be pretty cool either way. And I'll definitely show y'all the final result whenever it becomes too thick with paint <laughs> and I can't add anything else to it because I don't know how thick I can do it without it chipping and falling off. But so far, I love how it's looking and there's lots of little inspiration in this. I know y'all probably think I'm nuts but there really is a lot of inspiration in this random collection of marks and yeah i like it i like it a lot and it's a good way to use up the paint that you know ends up drying instead of throwing it in the trash i'm repurposing it into a work of art so i might actually end up putting in the progression of this, maybe. Maybe I'll do like progression shots at the end of each video. So everybody who stays till the end gets to see what it looks like. Let me know if you think that's a good idea because I might actually do that. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching my video. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing it with friends, all of the above. It really does help my channel out and it's the best way right now that you can support me on my art journey. So yeah, I'll see y'all next time.